Hello there and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from me, Jid Webb. Today we're going to look at edge sharpening. I had a question from uh, young Alberto who wanted to know how I sharpen my aviation images. Now, this is certainly one of the techniques that I use. If you have any questions, please leave me, uh, drop me a note on my Facebook page or here on YouTube. I do get lots of queries. We'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. So, first of all, a little bit of uh, edge sharpening music. And uh, this is the image we're going to be sharpening. Now, for my edge sharpening, I only tend to use one of the colour channels to, to sharpen. Uh, most people say that uh, the red channel is the best ch channel to use. Really, you want to pick the channel that gives you the best contrast of the edges. Um, and in this case, red does give us the best contrast of the edges, so we'll use that one. So, select the red colour channel and uh, make a duplicate of that channel. Uh, we'll give it a name of Edge Mask. Uh, duplicate uh, red channel at the bottom there. Uh, next, we need to find the edges of that channel. So go to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges. And there we have the edges. But we want the edges to be in white. We don't want them to be black, otherwise we would be sharpening the white areas and not the black, which is the opposite from what we want. So we need to invert that. So go to Image, Adjustments, Invert. Uh, now then, the uh, the white lines that we see are a little bit harsh, so we need to um, soften those a bit. So I'll do that in a couple of ways. Go to Filter, Maximum, and yeah, three pixels is fine for that. And then uh, Filter, Noise, Medium. Two pixels, yeah, two pixels is fine for that as well. Uh, now, just to soften them a bit more, add some Gaussian blur. Three pixels is fine for that. Uh, now we need to go back to our RGB channel, so just click on the RGB color channel at the top there. We need to make uh, a copy of this layer. So go back to our layers palette, Control J or Command J on a Mac makes a duplicate layer. Let's give this uh, layer a name, Sharpen. And uh, <clears throat> now we need to actually apply the mask that we just made to that image so we can apply the sharpening just to the mask. So go back to the uh, channel uh, palette, select your edge mask. Uh, select this icon, icon at the bottom, load channel as selection. There is the selection. Go back to your layers palette, inside your sharpen uh, layer, and you've now loaded the layer, or the, the mask that you're going to sharpen. So you're only going to be sharpening the inside of <clears throat> your running amps. So the amount of sharpening that you use, well it is, it's up to you, but these are the default settings or the settings I use, 250% uh, as, as the amount, uh, 0 0.02 uh, radius or 0 0.02 pixels as the radius and a threshold level of 1. Press OK and you've now sharpened your image. You need to remove the selection which is Command D or Control D on the Windows machine. Have a look at the image in full uh, at 100% to check the sharpening. That actually looks quite good. But if you wanted to remove, if there are any areas that were over sharpened, you could select the uh, eraser tool and rub out uh, parts that have got jaggy showing. Or you could go to your uh, layer mask icon at the bottom, 
and press up. So select it that. Move it. Give me a lemon mask. Oh, there we go. We've now got a white mask, which means that everything is showing through the mask. Um, select your paintbrush. Um, anything you paint in black will mask that layer. So, you paint along the cheek lines there. You won't be able to see it on your screen. Um, <coughs> but, uh, anything you paint there will mask the, uh, <coughs> the sharpening. And that really is all, this, all there is to it. Quite a few steps, but record them all, put them into an action, switch your actions to button mode. Uh, let me just delete that for a second. Delete my edge mask. Back to where we were at the start. So all I would do now is select the channel I wanted to sharpen. Press my edge sharpen button and then it has done everything for me uh, literally in the press of the button. That said sharpening. That's also a very quick bit about adding a mask. Um, if you wanted to hide everything on that layer, you hold the alt button down and press the layer mask you get a black mask, which means everything is masked. So you can actually select your paintbrush, select white, and you can actually paint sharpness in anything you can do. Anything that you see in white there is revealing the mask or re revealing the layer below. Uh, and that's Ed Sharpening for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you at my next tutorial.